Quraysh in the Bible. What is Quran chapter 106 about? It is commonly believed that Quraysh was the name of the Arab tribe of the Prophet of the Quran. However, this claim is not supported by the Quran. This short video will present the thesis that Quraysh was not the name of any tribe. Just like Abu Lahab, who is in fact King Ahab, the name Quraysh refers to a biblical figure. King Quraysh in Hebrew, or King Cyrus in English. We can see that the name Cyrus is Quraysh in Hebrew. The change from K to Q in Arabic is simply the result of the Arabization of the name. There is only one short chapter, with only four verses, about Quraysh in the Quran. Let us read chapter 106. I seek refuge in God from Satan the rejected. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. For the security of Quraysh. Their security of the journey of winter and summer. Let them, therefore, serve the Lord of this house, who fed them against hunger, and made them safe against fear. Observations. Quraysh is addressed in the third person plural. It refers to King Cyrus and his people, or army. An invitation to a king also involves all of his subjects. They are described as a prosperous nation. They are also invited to worship the Lord of this house. The name Koresh appears 15 times in the Bible. Cyrus is described both as a king and a messiah, anointed one. Even though he was a Persian king, God chose him to rebuild his house in Jerusalem, while the Hebrew believers were exiled from the land. Quran chapter 106 is a short summary of the historic pact that God made with Cyrus and his people when they rebuilt his house. 2 Chronicles 36 verses 22 and 23. I seek refuge in God from Satan the rejected. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. In the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of Yahuwah spoken by Jeremiah, Yahuwah moved the heart of Cyrus king of Persia to make a proclamation throughout his realm and also to put it in writing. This is what Cyrus king of Persia says, Yahuwah, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and he has appointed me to build a temple for him at Jerusalem and Judah. Any of his people among you may go up, and may Yahuwah their God be with them. Ezra chapter 1. I seek refuge in God from Satan the rejected. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. In the first year of Cyrus king of Persia, to fulfill the word of Yahuwah spoken through Jeremiah, Yahuwah stirred the spirit of Cyrus king of Persia to send a proclamation throughout his kingdom and to put it in writing as follows. This is what Cyrus king of Persia says. Yahuwah, the God of heaven, who has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, has appointed me to build a house for him at Jerusalem and Judah. Whoever among you belongs to his people, may his God be with him, and may he go to Jerusalem and Judah and build the house of Yahuwah, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let every survivor, wherever he lives, be assisted by the men of that region with silver, gold, goods, and livestock, along with a freewill offering for the house of God in Jerusalem. So the family heads of Judah and Benjamin, along with the priests and Levites, everyone whose spirit God had stirred, prepared to go up and rebuild the house of Yahuwah in Jerusalem. And all their neighbors supported them with articles of silver and gold, with goods and livestock, and with valuables, in addition to all their freewill offerings. King Cyrus also brought out the articles belonging to the house of Yahuwah that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and placed in the temple of his gods. Cyrus king of Persia had them brought out by the hand of Mithridath the treasurer, who counted them out to Shishbazer the prince of Judah. This was the inventory. 30 gold dishes, 1,000 silver dishes, 29 silver utensils, 1,030 gold bowls, 410 matching silver bowls, and 1,000 other articles. In all, there were 5,400 gold and silver articles. Shishbazer brought all these along when the exiles went up from Babylon to Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 45 verses 1 through 13. I seek refuge in God from Satan the rejected. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. This is what Yahuwah says to Cyrus his anointed, whose right hand I have grasped to subdue nations before him, to disarm kings, to open the doors before him so that the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will break down the gates of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and the riches hidden in secret places, so that you may know that I am Yahuwah, the God of Israel, who calls you by name. For the sake of Jacob my servant and Israel my chosen one, I call you by name. I have given you a title of honor, though you have not known me. 
I am Yahuwah, and there is no other, there is no God but me. I will equip you for battle, though you have not known me, so that all may know, from where the sun rises to where it sets, that there is none but me, I am Yahuwah, and there is no other. I form the light, and create the darkness, I bring prosperity and create calamity. I, Yahuwah, do all these things. I will raise up Cyrus in righteousness, and I will make all his ways straight. He will rebuild my city and set my exiles free, but not for payment or reward, says Yahuwah of hosts. I seek refuge in God from Satan the rejected. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. For the security of Cyrus, the king and his people. Their security of the journey of winter and summer. Let them, therefore, serve the Lord of this house, who fed them against hunger, and made them safe against fear.